Hello everybody, today it's going to be round 7 of the 2024 general election presidential spinner battle. Last time, Constitution Party candidate Randall Terry took his second loss, so he's gone. Also, Cornell West won that one, so he has his loss removed. So we're all back to even, we're down to 5 candidates. Some people have asked about keeping Kennedy on here since he's kind of dropped out. He's still probably going to be on the ballot in some states, and I don't want to make another change 7 rounds in, so we're going to play it out. So the spinner is warmed up, it's ready to go. So sit back and relax, we're going to start in a Alaska, here comes a spin number one, three electoral votes, and that's number one, that's going to go to Donald Trump, next we do Hawaii, four EVs, and that is number four, that's going to be Cornell West, let's see if he stays hot, next in the northwest we've got Washington, 12 votes here, and that's coming to number two, libertarian candidate Chase Oliver, next Oregon, Eight electoral votes here. That's going to be Oliver going back to back. Next, California, 54 votes. A significant cushion awaits one of these five. Let's find out who it is. That is Robert F. Kennedy Jr., number three. A lot of time left. Let's go to Nevada. Six votes here, and that's coming to number two, Chase Oliver. Next, Idaho, four EVs. We've got number one, Donald Trump with his second state. Next, Utah. There's another six here. It's going to go to Jill Stein, number five. So everybody in on round seven. Let's go to Arizona, 11 votes. Number four, Cornell West into double digits. Next, Big Sky Country, Montana. Four votes coming to number three, Kennedy with his second state. Next, Wyoming, another three EVs. That's going to go to Cornell West, number four, Colorado, the Centennial State. They've got ten. We're giving those to Cornell West, New Mexico, Land of Enchantment. Five votes. Number one, Donald Trump. Next, North Dakota, three electoral votes. That is going to be two in a row for Trump. How about South Dakota? The Mount Rushmore State. Another three EVs. Number three. It's going to be RFK Jr. Next, Nebraska at large. Two electoral votes here. That's going to be number three. That's another one for Kennedy. How about Nebraska's first? Who wants it? It's going to be DT. Donald Trump, number one. Nebraska's second congressional district. We've got RFK Jr., number three. Finally, Nebraska's third. Let's close it out. It's going to go to C.O. Chase Oliver. Next, Kansas, the Sunflower State. Six votes coming to number five. That's going to be Jill Stein. How about Oklahoma? They've got lucky seven. The Sooner State is coming to Jill Stein, number five, back-to-back -back for Stein. Can't she go three in a row on Texas? 40 electoral votes, that's a ton. Here's the spin, and it's going to be Chase Oliver, number two. He's going to get the second biggest cushion, and that puts him narrowly ahead of Kennedy for first place. Next, we go to the North Star State, Minnesota. They've got 10 votes, and that's going to go to Jill Stein, number five. Iowa is next. Six votes sitting on the table, coming to number four, Cornell West, Missouri. Ten more votes at stake. Who's going to swipe them? That's going to be Kennedy, number three. Next, Arkansas, the natural state. Six votes. Number three, Kennedy again. And he has since eclipsed Oliver for first place. Let's go down to the Gulf, Louisiana. Eight votes. Number four. Cornell West. Now we cross the Mississippi River. We go up north. We've got Wisconsin. They've got 10 votes at stake. It's going to go to Chase Oliver. Number two. Let's do Illinois. 19 votes. Here's the spin. Number one. Donald Trump picking up 19 more. He passes Jill Stein for the bottom spot. Next, Michigan. 15 votes deep into the Rust Belt. And that's number five, Jill Stein. So she passes Trump, and he's now back on the bottom. Next, it's Indiana. 11 EVs. Number three, Kennedy. Next, Kentucky. 
Eight votes in the bluegrass state. That's a five. That's going to go also to Jill Stein. Next, Tennessee. Eleven votes here. That's a one, and that's going to go to Donald Trump. Now Cornell West on the bottom. Let's do Mississippi, the Magnolia State. Six EVs. Kennedy. Number three. Next, Alabama. Another nine votes here. And that's another one for Kennedy that's going to put him over 100. Next, it's the Sunshine State, Florida. Also Trump's home state with 30 votes on the table. Everybody looking for their number, but it's going to be number five, Jill Stein, picking up 30 more. Next, Georgia, Chase Oliver's home state, 16. Coming to number one, that's going to be Trump. He's going to snag the Peach State. How about South Carolina, the Palmetto State? Nine votes. Number two, Chase Oliver, North Carolina is next. They've got 19. Another one for Jill Stein, number five. Now we jump up here to Ohio. 17 votes in the Buckeye State. Number four, Cornell West, going to snag 17. He's still on the bottom, but he only trails Trump by three. Next door, West Virginia. Four EVs in the Mountain State. That's going to go back to Donald Trump, number one. Now we jump up to the Pine Tree State in the northeast corner, Maine at large. Two votes. Number one, that's going to go to Trump. Next, Maine's first congressional district. That's a two. It's coming to Chase Oliver. How about Maine's second congressional district? And we've got another one for Chase Oliver. Next door, New Hampshire. Four EVs. Who wants them? Right on the line, but Chase Oliver is going to go three in a row. Next door, we've got Vermont. Three votes. Here comes the spin. Number one, it's going to go to Trump. Next, New York, 28 votes. Cornell West is on the bottom with 59. Trump is second from the bottom with 71. This is going to be a massive boost toward the end for somebody. Let's do the spin. Here it is. Not the strongest spin, but it's going to be number five, Jill Stein. She's over 100, and she passes Kennedy for first place. Next door, Massachusetts, 11 votes. The spinner says number one. Donald Trump, next, Connecticut, we've got lucky seven again. That's going to be one for Cornell West, number four. He's getting seven more. Next door, the Ocean State, Rhode Island. Four EVs, number five, that's going to go back to Jill Stein. How about the Garden State, New Jersey? Fourteen votes. Another one for Jill Stein, number five. So Stein really stepping on the gas here in this second half. Let's do Delaware. Three electoral votes here. And the spinner says number four. It's going to go to Cornell West. How about next door? Maryland has another 10. And that's another one for Cornell West. Now he trails Trump by three. So West trying to save himself late in the game. Let's do the next spin of Washington, D.C. There are three electoral votes here. Let's see who's going to get them. That's going to be number three. That's going to go to Kennedy. He's been quiet here on the East Coast. So now we've got two states left. First is Pennsylvania. Cornell West has to win one of these final two spins. He's on the bottom. Trump is second from the bottom. So one and four are the numbers to watch. Let's see if West can channel his energy from the previous round and work the spinner. Here it is. Pennsylvania. That's a two. That's going to go to Chase Oliver. Now he actually passed Kennedy for second place. So the final spin is Virginia. If it's a four, Trump taking his first loss. If it's not a four, West is going to go back to taking his first loss. So everything's on the line. Lots of suspense. Here comes the final spin. That is number four, Cornell West. Again, on the last state, he works the spinner. He gets the job done, and he sends Trump to his first loss. So you can't count out Cornell West. He escapes the bottom, but in first place, we've got Jill Stein with 144. Second place is Chase Oliver with 111. Third is Kennedy with 109. Cornell West in fourth with 92. And Donald Trump is going to take his first loss with 82. So we've had yet another battle where it comes down to the very end. So Trump is going to be in danger.
danger of going out in the next round. Of course, if he comes in first, then that loss is going to be gone. We'll see what happens, but that's it for round seven. So let me know in the comments, what did you think about this round? What do you think about the map? Let me know down below on your way out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Join if you'd like to help support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.